is a man whose audition saw him do a ridiculous impression of me. <laughs> uh, you see, I'm, I'm not a fan, cos he made out that I was really camp. Well, you see, I thought it was a very accurate impression. <laughs> me? Camp? Have you seen yourself recently? <laughs> <laughs> it's Les Gibson. Who are you, please? Les Gibson. Good luck. I'm doing it for that, Jack! You're brilliant. You're fantastic. Well, through to the next one. I can't believe that I'm in the semi-finals. I'm just so made up. Yes. I never believed something like this would happen for me. It's me, Kevin Webster. I have never heard anyone do Kevin Webster so well. Fantastic. I was born and bred in Liverpool. I live with a partner, Sue, stepson Danny, and my daughter, Ellie. When I left school, I became a carpenter. And after 12 years, I decided this is not what I want to do. I decided to take up impressions full-time. I've been doing the pubs and clubs for 13 years. That's been hard, driving up and down the motorway all over the country. All I've ever wanted is to give my family the security that they deserve. It's very difficult trying to showcase what you can do. This is his chance. I made one mistake. I forgot what I was doing. I think it's just a little bit of nerves. It's a bit daunting what's coming up, so when it goes wrong, it's my fault. Good evening, and welcome back to the boardroom. Now, <laughs> the task I gave you this morning was quite simple, and that was to open your own restaurant. And quite simply, all you had to do was sell and make a profit. Now, Team Ramsey, I believe you had a problem with your bloody menus. Oh, my God, Lord Sugar, you're absolutely right. <laughs> when, it came, when it came to pricing the menus, that's when it turned into a nightmare. <laughs> because I gave that responsibility to a little Irishman who has no dress sense, no sense of humour, and he has the personality of a cardboard box. <laughs> We never sold one meal, and that was all Louis' fault. And Gordon, Gordon, you're just so <laughs> insulting. <laughs> the restaurant business, the restaurant business, I just don't get it. I know nothing, <laughs> but I've got everything. I'm an all-rounder, and I just want to be in the final. <laughs> hey, Walshie, stop acting like a little crying baby. To let the team down. I know all about business. I've got my own garage. I fix cars. <laughs> I get crushed by them every day! <laughs> now, Team Kemp, Ross, you put yourself forward as team leader, confident in yourself. Oi! Brown sugar, or whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> Why don't you just shut up? I put myself forward as team leader because the word boss, it rhymes with this. <laughs> and for my team's menu, I created Ross Kemp's Extreme Crispy Chips. My <laughs> chips are so crispy, they make your gums bleed. <laughs> and Anton Deck, they never helped with this stupid idea of kangaroo crumble. No, no, cockroach crumble. <laughs> That's right, for our menu, we created cockroach crumble. <laughs> so, if you'd like your cockroach crumble cooked to perfection, place in the oven, gas mark four for 15 minutes. That's right, cooked to perfection. <laughs> gas mark four for 15 minutes. Well, the cookers are now closed. And that's time for Les Gibson to say. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. We've got to go straight to the judges. Thanks, guys. Michael, let's start with you. Okay, guys. Les, 
Les, absolutely brilliant. I really, I think you were better. Than, you know, even though I knew some of the impressions from the audition, I think that you were even better. It was really polished. Um, they're all set. So, your Gordon Ramsay, which you didn't do in the audition, is absolutely brilliant. And, um, and, and obviously, deck is perfect. And you sort of set... <laughs> I mean, it is. You set it up so nicely with that. I can listen to it all night. Um, I absolutely... You know, you're a real uh, threat in this competition, in my opinion. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. You really worked on this. Your material was funny. Your impressions were even better. Um, you're fit as well. Um, <laughs> which often doesn't happen. With a lot of impressionists kind of have a blank... They're very blank. They have a blank canvas. They look, you know, pretty mundane. You don't. It was brilliant tonight. I would love to see you in the final. Brilliant. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? Anton Les has got a nice ring to it. It has, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. That's a yes, yes. <laughs> As we know, that's show business. <laughs> oh, he's got it right in for the... He's got it right in for the Geordies this week. Oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble Thank tomorrow. Thank you, Simon. David. Um, you know what, Les, you know what? Great. It was a really, really good routine. You crammed it all together, got a ton of characters over. Uh, this is why I like this show, because people like you, a break where you wouldn't normally get a break, took the most of it. I think you've got a great chance of making the final. Well done. <laughs> Very briefly, David. Very briefly. I don't know half the characters, but you're still <laughs> very charming and very charismatic, and I laughed the whole time you're on. And you did a great Annie deck. Congratulations. You deserve Thank you. to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Les. Well done. You must be very pleased with that. If you at all want to see Les Gibson in the final, the number to call is 090 22206. But remember, the lines aren't open yet. Ladies and gentlemen, Les Gibson. Well done.